September is an important month. Space 1999 fans know that that's the, the, the month that the moon broke orbit from Earth and Moon Base Alpha was hurled into space. It seems like forever since I had done the, um, the pre-order for the launch pad um, with the lights and the sound, but that's exactly what I'm gonna show you. It came in yesterday. Okay, so it seems like forever since I did the pre-order for this. This is the electronic Alpha launch pad with lights and sound took it out of the box already and it comes in this kind of like a um, tissue paper kind of wrapping so let's get this open look at that beautiful Electronic Alpha launch pad with lights and sound. Original sound effect, original dialogue, original docking tube, illuminated landing lights, Eagle One transporter, Alpha moon buggy. And this is a Space 1999 Deluxe Eagle transporter co collection from ITV Studios. You can see some of the things we can look in and see. The sounds, you can see the buttons with the lights, the docking. We have the launch pad. We've got the eagle. We've got the little docking port that's in there. And you can see the little moon buggy on the bottom. So looking at the side of the box, this is from uh, 1216 collectibles or 1612 collectibles. And this is the moon base alpha electronic Alpha launch pad with lights and sound. Eagle transporter with aluminum engine bells. Now let's look at the ends of the box. See if the camera can pick it up. Deluxe Eagle transport collection. And let's see if it's the same on both ends of the box. Yep, same thing on both ends of the box. So I'll show you guys the other side and see if it's the same thing on both sides of the box. And it is. So let's take a look at the back. And look at that. Electronic Alpha launch pad with lights and sound. You can see the beautiful Eagle. You can see the launch pad. The launch pad on New Base Alpha. This is so cool. I'm glad that they finally got it out, but not only they got it out, but we got it before September 13th. Because if you guys remember, September 13th is the day that the moon broke uh, orbit from Earth. And Moon Base Alpha, along with its inhabitants, was hurled into space. Moon Base Alpha launch pad. A strategic point about Moon Base Alpha complex are the five launch pads that form the main arrival and departure platforms for the base. While a variety of Earth and alien spacecraft can be accommodated by these platforms, their primary use is for the deployment of Alpha's signature spacecraft, the Eagle Transporter. Housed in a huge engineering and storage hangars beneath the moon base, Alpha's fleet of Eagles can be raised on hydraulic platforms to the launch pads as required and be spaceborne in minutes. Featuring original dialogue and sound effects from the show, electronic docking tube, landing lights, highly detailed Eagle One transporter with detachable pod and aluminum engine bells, and of course the Alpha Moon buggy, dedicated to the inspiration and memory of Jerry Anderson, Sylvia Anderson, and Margaret Walker. And you can see ITV Studios, Space 1999, 1612.com, for more collectibles. And this would be item number ALP-1. So, without further ado, my friends, let's get, there was tape on it on all sides, and then it had like a plastic strip holding it all together. Okay, first thing, right off the bat, let's check out this Eagle One, or Eagle. Um, I don't know if it's the Eagle One or not. Look at that. Isn't that 
beautiful? Wow, I gotta tell you guys, it, it's, it's plastic, but the detail on this is amazing. Look at that. The engines underneath, the thrusters, and I think the, the ones on the bottom are plastic, but the bells on the back, the engine uh, thrusters are actually aluminum. The detail, I hope the camera shows up how amazing this looks. And let's see if we can detach. It says the, uh, the transport pod can be detached. I don't know how to do that yet, so I don't want to break it. So let's put this aside for a minute. What else we got? See if there are any batteries in this. You figure for the price of these things, they could put batteries in it. So why don't we go ahead and address that right now? Trusty little Duracell screwdriver. And again, this thing is pretty expensive. You figure they could at least put batteries in it. You can see it looks like it's got three double A batteries. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's put it on. Let's see the sound. Screens. Come on. Put all eagles on launch pads. Come on, Lord. Cool. Let's go to gravity shields, 50% power. All right, you know what? Why don't we set it up? Let's take this plastic piece. Put that there for a minute. The only thing that's left, we have the little moon buggy. So why don't we go ahead and we're gonna take the tape just so we can get the little moon buggy out. I love the little moon buggy. Check it out. <laughs> the way the camera is, my hand looks like it's gigantic, but all right. Let's put the moon buggy over there. And let's see, there's no paperwork that I can see or instructions. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on this. Let's get the moon buggy to the side so we don't lose it. And let's see if there's any... Oh my goodness. Look at this. I should have checked it right at the bottom. You can see there are two screws. And there's a screwdriver. And it looks like there are instructions. So why don't we go ahead? We're going to open this up. And of course, I'll put the instructions up for you. But so we have a screwdriver. And it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five screws. All right, let's put that to the side for a moment. And you can see, assemble with screws one, two, three, and four. And you can see one, two, three, and four, where they're gonna go and how they're gonna keep it up into the, to this section. All right, let's put this aside for a moment because I'm just dying to get to uh, to this and show you this section. You can see the, the cross with all the lights. And look at the detail on the side. Oh man, this is awesome. I love these Moonbase Alpha in Space 1999 collectibles. I showed you guys, let's see, um, I showed you guys the Kaldorian ship, and I showed you guys the, uh, the Comlock with the, uh, the stun, the stun gun. I've also shown you the Comlock and stun gun model kit, the new release, 
and I'm ecstatic to show you this. I've also got some goodies coming up to show you. Um, I'm going to wait till September 13th, actually, when the uh, Moonbase Alpha breaks orbit. But so you can okay. see the two screws here and the two screws that are over there. And it's going to go like this. See these, um, so it's going to lock like right into place, just like that. So, for the time being, let's leave it like this. We're not going to screw it in because I don't have the room to keep this displayed. So let's put the, uh, the moon buggy. All right, so look, we got the ship coming in, the Eagle. It's on a launch pad. Let's see, let's put the lights on. Nice. And let's dock. Oh, that is so cool. And just like that, it's docked. Let's hear some sounds. Come in, main mission, counter calling. Survey Eagle heading for Alpha. Emergency operation exodus. In depth as factors. One, moon on unknown trajectory. Two, constantly changing key forces due to moon's movement away from Earth. Three, insufficient data to compute flight plan. All factors in memory bank relating to Operation Exodus inapplicable. Insufficient data available under prevailing circumstances. Human decision required. I love it. What else they got? Computer, command order. Cancel safety restrictions on launch pad 4, give me access. Dr. Russell, get the medical team over to launch pad 7. Where are they? You can do when you go seven and return to base. All evacuate all personnel from launch pad one. Pressure to stand by. Eagle two, Doctor Eagle one, Commander. All right, take it away. Give it everything we've got. Eagle two, jettison your passenger module and pick us up at launch pad one. Eagle 3 and 4 immediately lift off. Eagle leader to Alpha. Alien spaceship's dead ahead. Alan, fire at will. Now you're joking. That is so cool. 
they got quite a bit of soundtracks for this. Let's bring the dock back. And look at that, it's actually going back in. <laughs> that is so cool. And don't worry, I'll take you guys off the tripod and really show it to you. That is so awesome. Let's put the lights back out. So we've got a button for the lights. We've got a button to activate the sound and we've got a button to activate the docking tube. So let me go ahead and let me try to shut the lights off and it might be too dark. Let me take you guys off of the tripod. All right, let's put the lights on. And let's dock. Is that amazing or what? This thing is so cool. That is just amazing. All right, let me put the lights back on. It might be a little easier for you guys to see it. Zoom in on the moon buggy for you guys. Look at that little guy. Let me show you how small. Look at my finger. <laughs> Eagle, look at that. It's 
So let's try, we'll spin it around. And we'll make it look like it's facing the other way, like it just landed. And if it just landed, we got the lights to guide it. And let's do the docking procedure. That is just amazing. Oh man. This is awesome. Fellow Space 1999 fans, you're gonna love this. You are gonna love this. This is so much fun. Remember when I was a kid, as much as I loved the Eagle One from Mattel, someday I will get one of those back to show you guys, but this is just fantastically fun. Look at the detail. As we fly over the launch pad, you can see the moon buggy, and you can see the eagle. So why don't we clear the eagle for launch? Computer, command order. Cancel safety restrictions on launch pad 4, give me access. Look at the detail on that. This little eagle certainly has a lot of detail. And it's got the little markings to show you where to place the eagle. Just like that. Absolutely love it. Look at that. The detail is just phenomenal on this. This is, let's see, this is the second thing, third thing, I'm sorry, that I have from, um, what is it, 1612? This is the second thing that I have that I show you. Actually, the third thing, I showed you the, um, like I said, the Caldorian ship. And I showed you the uh, Comlock and the stun gun. And it was around the time that I showed you that that I pre-ordered this. And this is this was a long time ago that I pre-ordered this video, but you know what? <laughs> it was worth the wait. This is just amazing. This is so much fun. All right, let's clear the seagull for takeoff. Okay, Alan, clear to leave. Eagle 
2. Jettison your passenger module and pick us up at launch pad 1. Eagle 3 and 4, immediate liftoff. <laughs> Use the screwdriver from Eagle Moss for to build the Enterprise. That's a whole nother video. I just want to make sure that we don't damage it. So you can see, you push it forward. Like that. Alright. Okay, Commander. We have jettisoned the pod, and we're on our way to pick you up. And you can see the uh, Eagle as it's on its way to go pick up Commander Koenig. I tell you, the, I'm amazed by the detail on this little guy. I've actually got one of the uh, the pre-built full-size Eagle and I'm going to be coming up and doing a video for you a special delivery on September 13th the day that Alpha broke orbit from Earth so that's going to be really fun I can't wait to show you guys that Eagle that one's a lot bigger than this one all right look at the power packs the uh, thrusters on the sides of the pods. It's just amazing. Look at the landing gear. Alright, let's take a look at look at the pod. I love it. And let's see. We'll have it just dock with the pod. And the eagle is off somewhere else, but the people on the pod need to get back into Moonbase Alpha. Yeah, it doesn't work as well because it's not as high. It needs to be a little higher up. So it's going to be dot to the eagle. All right. So let's say that's Commander Koenig's pod. So you got the eagle. Alan comes down, picks it up. And you can hear it click back into place. And as usual, Alan does a good job of docking. I'll show you guys the side of the cockpit. Hopefully you can see that. You can see the radar dish, the Moonbase Alpha logo. Again, the detail is just phenomenal. Okay, now they're all back. Now they're gonna go back and then they can put the Eagle away. So let's bring it out. It's just amazing how it docks like that. Like I said, my friends, my fellow Space 1999 fans, if you love Space 1999, you gotta get one of these before they're gone. This is just so cool. I'm so happy I got this. Let's put the lights off. Let's see. Let's see what we go through the sounds again one more time. Eagle leader to Alpha. Alien spaceship's dead ahead. Now you Put the lights back on. And of course the platform will raise up. It'll lower to put the ship away and it'll raise up for launch. And we can move the little cart. Let's go through the sound effects again. Eagle 1, Commander, intercept that spacecraft. 
I was hoping it would uh, play the Exodus clip while it was docking, but it doesn't. So the sounds, everything will be separate. Computer, command order. Cancel safety restrictions on launch pad four. Give me access. Let me see if I can get it back to that. Doctor Russell, Eagle two and Sundock for the last time. You can see the tube retracting. And once the tube retracts, it's all clear. Everybody's off. The lights go off, and then the whole platform descends to the inside of the base where they put the uh, the eagle to the side so my friends if you're curious about this wonderful little collectible man I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I had a good time showing you this is so fun <laughs> the inner kid again the detail in this is just so cool I'm gonna show you a little buggy again Again, let me try to show it to you. The one that I showed you with the um, the Aldorians, the Caldorian spaceship actually had a couple of guys in it. This one is empty. So, my friends, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until my next Space 1999 video, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.